<laughs> yeah, that's very purple. This is part of the $3,000 paint option. You can get pretty much any color you want. Three grand, you can now paint your Golf R whatever color you want. Look, it matches the G12 coolant now. Here's the RD on. It's still quite large in person. It's the same dash. It's still very Passat-like, but really, really nice, actually. The wheels are awesome. I really like the wheel design. And the thing that I really like about these is that's a hatch. This whole hatch opens up, which is great. Someone open the hatch. Whoa! Hatch. I really do dislike these new Tiguans. They're just, they're too big. So for us in Canada, North America, we only get the long wheelbase version, which I don't like because the rear doors are really long. I wish we got the short wheelbase version that Euro gets, and then it would be more so like a Macan or smaller sized like SUV. The, uh, it's their larger Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. It's very big. For a Tiguan, these are really big. Yeah, and then that's an Atlas beside it, but there's so many people you can't tell. Is it? It looks like it's exactly the same. They're quite different, but yeah, that's an Atlas beside it versus Tiguan R-Line. But size, well, that's what I mean. These are getting really, really big now versus their biggest one, which is not that much bigger to jump up to an Atlas. And I actually like a lot of the design stuff of the Atlas more. And the Atlas is actually open this year, which it was not last year. Yeah, they don't look that much. My first time in a VW Atlas. Ooh, I like it a lot, actually. The, uh, the radio, the gauges are quite nice. First time I've been in the new Atlas. storage in here. This design feature is nice actually. Soft touch dash. Doors are doors are soft touch top on front and hard I think that's hard touch on top on your rear door, isn't it? Yeah, hard touch rear doors. If I was in the market for a big SUV, that would be my pick, but I am fairly VW biased, but you know, I'm vocal about when they do things I don't like too, but if I was in the market for a big SUV, I'd end up with one of these. Down, fit tons of RCs here too. Yeah, can fit as much in, in the uh, Arteon. Get an Arteon 4 motion. VW, you should make the Arteon 4 motion in manual. <laughs> manual. All right, here's the all new 2019 humongous Jetta. Yeah, it's okay. And the body line crease is like really, really big crease in the body line. Do they have the virtual dash in the GTI now? 
Not to not to I'm aware of. No. No, I've never seen that's a so it's got the Golf R brakes, but I've never seen these rims before. So that maybe is a new option. They seem small though. What's the extreme contacts though? Maybe it's the performance package tire and wheels. Maybe. Manual leather. No, just normal gauges. I'm pretty. You cannot get the digital dash in the GTI. The R hatchback. I'm rid of everything that's on. But the wing has. This is an add-on wing. That's new. Unless that's a, like a dealer option. But that wing is definitely an add-on. Do you like this tacked-on extra wing? Do I like it? Mine doesn't have that. I don't know how I feel about that. What do you think of the paint? Yeah, I don't know. It's fair. It's, it reminds me of my mom's Corolla. Like, it's very... <laughs> okay. Yes, that should be on the R. Starting trim 30. Whereas, as equipped, doesn't have it. This one is definitely not 30. This one is probably like 37, 38. Or more. 36. This one might be actually one of my most, one of my favorite, just attainable cars. The Audi TT RS. I don't necessarily like it in this bright orange, but it's just absolutely stunning. The front end on these are just fantastic. Last year they had these open. I, I sat in an R8 V10 plung last year, uh, as well as a TTRS last year. Just off center. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it that's has, always, you it say that's always for, bugged you? Yeah, I mean it has to be. The off center. It's for the transmission. Okay. But like, oh, it's just, it's so close. It is so close, yeah. <laughs> It's probably one of those things where I wouldn't have noticed that until after I would had bought it and had it for a while. I don't think I would have noticed it here. Well, these are cool wheels. I haven't seen that design before. This is the all new RS5 Coupe. Just in case you couldn't read. That is quite the color. It is, yeah. These wheels, I haven't seen these wheels before. 
I like that. I think it's the contrast. Wow, the seats, the seats look fantastic. I'm gonna get in the RS5 with my buddy 705 Toys, if I can figure out how to get in here. Seat all the way back, look at my back of the seat goes. What's that? Wow, that get, the dash is gorgeous on these. It's very similar to the R8 that I was in last year. Yeah, well, it's not that different than the S5. It's an RS. Yeah. Can you get this in a manual though? It's a twin turbo V6 instead of much like what it was. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a three gear, actually 2.9 liter. I really like the, the upholstery of the seats, it's absolutely brilliant. Get the catch. I Custom purple Audi RS3 sedan. Alicantra on the auto shift knob. Lipstick, the red trim doesn't really do it for me. But I really like the Macan. You can actually buy a Lamborghini, but this is all wheel drive. Stunning. That is absolutely stunning. I still don't quite understand what the difference between a GT3 RS and a GT2 RS is, so if you know, tell me in the comments below. Because I don't know, which one's hotter? This one almost seems to me, in person, like it's more race spec, but why does it have a lower number than the three? Is it motor? What is it? <laughs> 